Patients with rheumatoid arthritis, first of all, are generally female, so two-thirds female, one-third male. The age is usually between 40 and 60 years of age, and as I said, you're getting older because we're living longer, so we're seeing older patients rather than younger patients. And the important thing is that the younger you are in some ways, the better you will respond to therapy. In some respects, the older you are, it may be more difficult because the increased risk of, of side effects of the medications occur generally with the elderly. So if you get it early, you have less problems with risk of side effects in some, to some extent. And the important thing is that you're more likely to improve sooner. So rheumatoid arthritis is arthritis, it's pain, joint pain. And a joint is where two bones come together and move. So the issue with arthritis is, is pain. The joints are painful. They may become swollen. They can become red. You have increasing disability because of the range of movement of your joints may be less. And you have something called morning stiffness. That is when you wake up in the morning, your joints feel stiff. It's like gelling. It's so your joints essentially gel. You don't have the same movement early on. And as you get moving, you actually feel better in terms of your joints moving. So that's stiffness in the morning. And we use morning stiffness as a guide to how severe you are. If you have an hour or two of morning stiffness, it means it takes you an hour or two to loosen up. And so that's pretty significant. We try to reduce the severity of the illness to the point where you don't have any morning stiffness, you wake up and get going immediately. We want to make that kind of difference. So rheumatoid is only one of the 115 kinds of arthritis. So in order to make the diagnosis, you have to take a history from the patient, ask them all about it. You have to examine the patient, which joints are involved, the pattern of involvement, for example, whether they're red, they're not red, swollen or not swollen. In rheumatoid arthritis, I worry most about swollen joints. So if the joints aren't swollen and they're tender, then generally nothing is gonna happen in terms of damage and disability. So swollen joints, whether they hurt or not, are a problem for me. And I think the decision should be made not only in what you hear from the patient, but also what you see at the bedside. And I tell the patients, what I see at the bedside is what's gonna happen to you. So even if you have no pain, but your joints are swollen, I'm worried about you. That means you have an increased risk of going on and damaging. If you have no swelling but pain, then I have to figure out what you have. Is it rheumatoid? I'll never make a diagnosis of rheumatoid without joint swelling. So if you come in with lots of joint pain and no swelling, I have to say this isn't rheumatoid at this point. I will have to understand why you're having painful joints. So swelling and pain, particularly swelling and rheumatoid, is a very important prognostic feature which will tell you what may happen in the future.